thing. If dinosaurs were still around and needed forever homes, I know the one person who would Me help too. them out. That is our <laughs> pet rescue expert, Larissa, who's hanging out in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hey, Lorette. Uh, yeah, I might have to buy a bigger house, but no. I'm sure I could make it happen. <laughs> There's I have faith some in beautiful you. homes out here, so maybe I could find one as well. <laughs> um, let me fill you in on what's been going on. I mean, I'm still recovering from last night. We had an amazing block tail party put on by the Bissell Pet Foundation. Mm. Everything was beautiful. Kathy and I had a blast. She is such a an amazing force Cute. when it comes to helping animals in need. She walks the walk, she talks the talk, everything down to the cake and the centerpieces and the statues around the place. Oh. I mean, every detail was accounted for and it was a pet lover's paradise. I can't wait to tell you guys more when I get back to town. But before that, let me introduce you to this lovable gentle giant who I think would make a perfect home and family oh, dog. So what do you think? This is Barrett oh. and he is a five-year-old lab. Look oh at gosh. his face. He smiles. He loves belly rubs. He loves playing oh fetch. As I said, he's five years old. He came here to uh, Michigan from Mississippi. He was on a transport, which happens all the time because certain states get overrun with animals needing homes and certain states have lots of families that would love to adopt them. So a lot of times transports happen within states oh, so by plane, cute. by bus, by train, by car, you name it. And so he is one of the lucky guys that came up here just past, this past week. He's been here about six or seven days. He needs a home and I can't believe he's still here. He is so good with dogs. So good with people. He actually gave me a hug when I let him out of the cage yesterday. He bounced up and put his arms around me. And uh, he would just, I mean, it's an all-American dog. What can you say? He should go home to somebody this moment. It could be me. Maybe we can bring him home and be the home and family oh dog. Gosh, but as so I cute. said, Barrett is available. The Humane Society of West Michigan, please adopt him and send me pictures because I want to keep updated on this guy. And it's all part of Hallmark Channel's Adoption Ever After, where oh every gosh. animal deserves the best, best, best home. <laughs> Just you, like Barrett. Yes, they do. And I love it when you talk like that, Larissa. Oh, so cute. Oh, he's what? so cute. How good cool is he? And I'm just, he's yes. like the happiest dog I've ever seen. He really is. He's so oh, man, he's, so he's going to make somebody else very happy, no doubt about it. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Larissa. Can't Thank wait to you. hear all about the uh, Bissell Foundation block tail party also when you get back. Want to hear about That's that? That's right. She has lots of stories, and yep. we can't wait to hear them all. Meanwhile, since you keep coming back, we've decided that we are going to send you to the mailbox wall today. So you head I'm on over to the mailbox wall. I'm out. You're going to have to open the mail pretty quickly, so I'd hustle if I were you. And while you do that, I'd like to remind everyone at home that we are celebrating June weddings all month long. And in honor of this weekend's original film, Love at First Dance, Ken is DIYing these adorable ballerina pillows, perfect for the tiny dancer in your life. Look at that. Aren't they so cute? And really simple to make, by the way. Meanwhile, Cameron, I hope you're not out of breath. I hope you made your way over to the mailbox wall. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend okay? like I'm not out of breath. I'm like... I got it. I got it. Here Who's we go. The car today? I got it. All right. Here we go. First of all, can we say how cute a card this is? This is fantastic. Aww. And it comes from Allison March in Denver, Colorado. You get very good taste, Allison. And this is what Allison wrote. Dear everyone at home and family, I love watching your show every day with summer coming up. This will be the first time I'm sending my daughter off to overnight camp. Ooh, I remember going as a kid and how much I loved it, but I think I'm more nervous than she is. Do you have any tips to help us both make the most of this experience? And uh, Allison, this is an excellent point, and I can relate. As a dad, the first time I sent my kids to overnight camp, my, myself and my wife, very tricky for us, a little bit tricky for the kids too. So great question, great points, and lucky for us, uh, we have a parenting expert on the show later today, Erica Katz will be with us giving us tips on just this, on how to make this experience great for the kids, great for us as parents and everybody else that can relate to this uh, and everyone else, keep sending us cards, keep sending us letters at the address below. All right, Cameron, we'll get on out here because we have the perfect DIY just for you. Great. I'm on my way. Come on, listen, we Sorry. all could use a little help keeping our garden supplies organized, that's true. But according to what you told me earlier, Cameron, you could use more help than just about any of us. And lucky for you, Paige has come to the rescue with this beautiful DIY outdoor storage planner. This is amazing, Paige. Thank you so much. One of my so favorite pretty. things to do is to hide all the tools that we have. And in my garage, a little messy, I don't have anything this fancy in the garage, but for outdoor, when you have all your outdoor tools, you really don't want them inside, you want them outside, you don't want to look at them. Right. So, 
So you come, I, to, oh, I know come to my you. rescue. Did, yeah, yes. listen. Your, uh, your you backyard something. is a little messy. Not only backyard, <laughs> it's in the backyard, the shed, the house. We've got garden tools, garden supplies Everywhere. all over the place. And let me just say this. We made the pictures look a little nicer. It's it's worse than the photo show. Yeah, yeah that, that does that not look, look bad. So bad. You know I mean? It's not shed, bad compared to what it really is. All. It's just everywhere, and you can never find it. Like, yes, like where's that's the, true. These clippers or that or this fertilizer. But I'm going to I'm gonna call you out. I love that you cleaned up before that you took the pictures. Because that's not really, you cleaned up like before the housekeeper came. That's what you just did, by the way. That's okay. Because, listen, you're luck today. Paige okay. is going to hide all that away. Yeah, I appreciate this. I'm looking forward to it. What do we need? What do we need to get started? Okay, so what we need to make the magic happen is, um, a, I used a wine barrel. You can actually use any sort of round pot that you find. Okay. Um, but we're recycling here. You remember nice. this from Ken's and from my flip-flop oh, station. I love that. I love that, I love that we're oh, using yes. this. So we've cut it in half. Um, so you need a wine barrel, then some extra wood. This is a 24-inch round that you can buy from the hardware store. Okay. You don't have to cut it. You don't have to do anything special Comes to right it. Comes right like that. Comes like that, mm -hmm. um, which is so nice uh, for those of us who do not like to cut circles. Use, exactly, hard. like me. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> um, I like to use the saw. And the rest I will show you as it unfolds. All right, yes. so let's get started. What do we okay. do? Okay, so the first thing, so we're taking this, um, the 24-inch round. I haven't sanded it down or anything. This is how you get it from. That's pretty the, amazing. Okay, so it comes right out. Right it comes like that. Yep, yep. and Very then good. we are taking a, this is a garden handle, so this sure. can go on your back gate. Sure. You know, if you want to make it prettier, you can, but we're going to hide it, so I just want to make it utilitarian. 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 That's the word. Thank you. There you go. You want to make it useful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Would it hold? Yes, please. I wish I could have helped with that, but I really didn't have the vocabulary. I Words know. are hard. <laughs> yeah. They are. Yeah. I would have yes. liked to jump in with something, but all right. All right. So you put getting it done, you just throw it in there. Yep. Let's Pre drill holes, I like it. Exactly. And yep. you pre drill the holes so it doesn't split? You don't actually don't need to on this okay. because just the wood is so thick. But yes. Okay. But for TV purposes, I'm just gonna make it look a little nicer and it go in faster. Very if we go. have it pre drilled. Okay. Beautiful. Very so now, good, very good. So this you have your top. Now honestly, you could leave this the way it is. I mean sure. it looks and great. use it as a top. It looks raw, it looks like rustic, I like it. And you could stain it to sure. Oh, sure, 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 sure. But I thought we'd take it up a notch and hide it completely. Okay. So you don't even know that there are things so wait, hiding under So there. this lid is not going to sit on top. It's actually going to sit in. It's going to sit in a little bit. Yes. Ah. So you can kind of see here. Yeah. I'm going to show you. It's just going to sit in like that. But I'm going to put another um, piece of wood to make sure that it that stays it's steady. level. Yeah, that's, yes. exactly so that's how you have to do it. Exactly. I just took some uh, two by four and cut it. And I went four inches down here. And I shouldn't drill towards myself. Pardon me while I turn my back on you for just no, a no, moment. No, do what you got to do. All right. Paige, getting it done. Okay. No, but that's genius. Obviously, that way you know that the lid's going to be level. You know exactly right. where you can fit exactly. everything underneath it. Now, my, how do you know the size that you need? Like, how do you right. determine the size of the barrel, the well, size of the pot, whatever you're using? I think you see what you have in your own okay. backyard. Like, you you actually probably could fit most of your stuff in here. Right. The, the reason or I'm asking true. is this looks perfect. This, for, this is going on with you. Yes. I mean, you know. <laughs> Who's I'm asking it? that because he's wondering if, it, if you need a bigger one, he'd like to take it home. Let me yes. just make sure this fits in the trunk of my car. <laughs> yes, I think it'll yes, be it fine. Does. Yes, Fantastic. And you get to hide all of your things away. Well, exactly. You, you've got the gardening tools. You've, you've got, got the, the gardening tools. You've got the, you've got the hose. Let's oh. throw that in there. And by the way, it has this little, this little thing that comes in the barrel anyway. What is that called? You definitely could, that little hole. But uh, you would have to drill two holes if you wanted it to To be, put your hose like that. Yep, yeah, to, to hook it up. In order to hook it up to the, uh, to the spigot. The spigot. But while you're yeah. hiding it, it's wonderful like that. And then, like um, speaking of size, you can even do a tiny little one. I put a little handle in there, and look at this. No oh, way. Oh, stop. And you could put your keys in there. You can put anything you want in there, That's actually. Right. Isn't oh that gosh, huge? Right. So really, the sky is the limit. It's your if imagination. If you see that outside of my house, that is where my house keys are being. That's where, yes. That's good. Entrance they should to Cameron's house. Today. That's what I'm saying. So okay. how do we do this then? And now we do the pretty. Well, since this is holding tools, okay, I'm good. throwing that in there. Yeah, okay. put it okay. in there. Okay, so let's take some of these littler ones okay. and a staple gun. And That's I mean, it. So, so again, the uh, you know the point of this is to sort of disguise this yes. as like we did with the little one there. To disguise this as just a potted. Uh, pot full yes, of but I have to be honest with you. I think it's so beautiful on its own. I'm not sure I would even disguise it. I would just stain this and set it on the top. You and could. Be done with you it. definitely could. But totally could do that. You can can continue doing, doing that. that. Okay. okay. And look okay. at that. We'll keep doing this. Look oh how cool this is. Age. So this is all. It's just really I've swapped out for one that's done. You just keep 
pressing in the staples until you get it to a nice, gorgeous uh, situation like this here. And then... I'm with you, Paige. I take that one. I think that so, looks great. So look at this. So inside... Oh, I made it so yeah. much heavier. I'm going to cross but, over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just tilt that to folks at home. Show it. everything that's in there. Isn't that cool? So you fit everything that's in there, put it down, and then put it on top, and no one is the wiser. No, and it oh looks like gosh. you do not have those ugly tools, the ugly fertilizer. You don't have it out anymore. I and guess what? It. It's hidden. And, and the you flowers know never die. Yes. You know, you it's just organized. Oh, Debbie, you are yeah, great. Debbie, I need Debbie's to use you for more you. DIYs. You let me know. I'm enjoying this. That's this is very that. nice. Is very Thank I'm going to so take much, what you've done so far. put that one over there. Yeah. Oh, it's kind, it's kind of therapeutic. I want to finish this. I you know, want to finish I it? Take it away quite I'll yet. bring it over here. It's not done. For detailed instructions on how to make this beautiful planter situation that hides all your tools, <laughs> all you have to do is visit HallmarkChannel.com. Right now, we're headed into the kitchen with celebrity chef Jet Tila. Hey, chef. Hey, guys. When we come back, I'm going to teach you how to make your favorite dish, miso black hot. I'm going to pair it with a fun twist on papaya salad. We'll see you soon.